Denver's mayor blames deadly illegal drugs for the ongoing violence in the underground bus station and platforms at Union Station. Once again, we heard about a plan for efforts to make that area safer. Let's go to Shauna Kalafi. She has covered those ongoing problems at the station. Shauna, what was today's message? Well, Dom, today the mayor as well as RTD officials all acknowledge that this is one of the biggest issues that Denver is facing right now, the crime and drug use here at Union Station. Some people are even too scared to even come downtown or even use the RTD services. So the city has already increased security here. They're planning to beef that up even more. And another part of the plan is making a zone that's only for ticketed customers. So since last year, they've already increased the security presence here at Union Station, and that has resulted in more than 700 arrests so far in 2022. The interim RTD Transit Police Chief says riders can also expect even more officers on buses and at terminals starting this coming Monday. Long term, there's also a plan to create a paid fare only area where ticketed passengers can only get in. But RTD CEO Deborah Johnson says that will take about 12 to 16 months in order to get the design and materials in place. We do not want to limit access for people with disabilities. We want to ensure that we maintain emergency exits um, and all of those different things will come into play. And it's just contingent upon us being able to go through the procurement process and basically um, have a design that we can then leverage and ensure that we can get a contractor on board to address those design issues. And police are also asking riders to download the RTD Transit Watch app. That way you can report any problems, and that's how they'll know where to deploy those officers because they say that this issue extends beyond just Union Station. They're trying to make the whole RTD system safer for riders. Live in Denver, Shauna Kalafi covering Colorado First. Hopefully it works, Shauna. Thank you.